A planet orbits around the sun in an elliptical orbit. The speed of the planet increases when the distance between the planet and the sun decreases because. First, we can take a, an energy approach. The total mechanical energy K plus U of the planet is a constant because、uh, there is no air resistance or friction to take mechanical energy away, so the mechanical energy should be conserved. The gravitational potential energy is negative G m m over R. So when R decreases, the potential energy would decrease. Because with a smaller r, the u becomes more negative. Or we can look at it this way: when an object is closer to the ground, its gravitational potential energy decreases. When the gravitational potential energy decreases, the kinetic energy would increase. So the total stays a constant. So the planet speeds up. When the planet travels that way, it gets closer to the sun. The velocity of the planet is tangent to the path. The gravitational force is an attractive force towards the sun. This force has two components: a component that is tangent to the path, and another one that's in the radial direction, perpendicular to the tangent direction. The radial component gives us radial acceleration or centripetal acceleration. And that one tangent to the path gives us the tangential acceleration. Since the tangential acceleration is in the same direction as the velocity, this component of the gravitational force causes the planet to speed up. So the gravitational force causes the planet to speed up. That is because of the tangential component, not the radial component. Or we can explain the speed increase. Using conservation of angular momentum, the gravitational force acting on the planet is a central force. The force goes through the center of the planet, so that force gives us、uh, no torque. That's why we have conservation of angular momentum, and we can consider this、uh, planet as a point mass. And so the angular momentum of the point mass is、uh, perpendicular r times the momentum. So, this is the perpendicular r times m v, and this is a constant. Means when the perpendicular r gets smaller, the speed of the planet would increase. Even though this distance is not the same as the perpendicular r, but when the r decreases, the perpendicular r would decrease as well.